Welcome to my channel, I'm the uh, Pint Size Biker. Exciting day today. Just received delivery of the hood jeans, triple rated jeans, which both have the arm and the uh, double layer Kevlar, as well as a breathable membrane. Been looking forward to these. Let's, let's have a look. I received an email from them within a day of, of ordering them, an actual written email rather than an automated one, to say that they were on their way, which I thought was very good. This is what they look like, these are the navy ones. One of the reasons for ordering these was they come with the the ghost armor. There's two options you could get. You could either get them with, with the armor or you could get it without and it's about 50 quid difference or something, something like that. But having never tried this kind of armor, I only ever use it in Knox or some cheaper brands. I was curious to see what this is like because it seems so much thinner compared to everything else that I've had before. And previously in the past, I would have re removed armor out of jackets because it's all so bulky. Especially being quite short, which is part of the reason why I ordered these. It's good. Hopefully, the armor won't intrude too much and pull about or be, be too he too heavy. They look quality. They feel feel nice. Feel heavy without being too heavy. And I'm guessing if we have a look, we'll turn them inside out. I'm pretty certain. Let's see. There we go. That's the the breathable liner. as well as the, the Kevlar in there. Currently, I wear the Botex Long John style uh, Kevlar underneath normal jeans. I've been wearing it for about three years, really good. But sometimes you just want to change over to something where you don't have to get unchanged when you get somewhere, or you just want to perhaps wear, wear the jeans on a day out. And hopefully these are as breathable as they say they are. They'll do the ticket. The other great thing about hood jeans is I'll do them to size. And being that I'm quite short, I ordered 28 inch. So hopefully I won't find that they drag along because I would the uh, Kevlar jeans I bought in the past over the last 10 years or so, I've never been able to get anything that short. They've always been 31 inch and then you have to either cut them, which you don't really want to do. It's something you're spending that kind of money on. Or you tuck them into your, your boots uh, and then you're stuck like that. So first impressions, look great. SK11 jeans, triple rated from Hood. I think about £176 I think they were, but I'll, I'll double check that to be, to be sure. Let's try them on. So I've tried them on. Positives, they are brilliant quality. They feel great quality, lovely color. But for me, and this is, this is not a negative towards the jeans, they're a bit too long and a bit too baggy, and I'll show you. If you look down at me wearing them, even though these are 28 inch and I'm a 28 inch leg, they are just a bit too long at the bottom, which I'll find I'll, I'll drag them. Even if I tuck them in my boots and I go for a walk of the day, I'll, I want to pull them out if I get hot and they'll drag. And at the kind of price range we're talking about for these, which they are good value for, for what they are, that's, that's a bit too much for me as a, as a compromise I wouldn't want to go with. But that said, if you're a bit taller, which is one of the reasons I've set up this channel, is to explain to people or, or maybe to other companies or to advise other people that it is difficult buying clothing when you're short. I'm five foot three, five foot four, 28 inch leg, but I wear 29 inch jeans. So I was hoping that 28 inch with these, they would be just right. So I was quite surprised that they were, they were this long. But for most people, they, they would be really good. One other positive is the, the armor, the ghost armor is super thin compared to other jeans I've had before, other jackets that have had the Knox armor or lesser known brand armor. It, you, you don't feel it as much. Certainly the hip ones are absolutely brilliant. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know they're even there. The knee ones, though thin as well, because the jean is a bit too long, it is just sitting a bit too far down, which again, if you were walking, would, would rub against you. On the bike, though, that said, chances are, sat up like that, they would probably fall into the right place. Again, the same on, 
on that side. So, great value, but for me a bit too big. And the other thing, now this is a negative. These are advertised as slim fit, and when you see the pictures on their web pages, they do look slim fit, but for me, these are not slim fit. I, I can't see how these could be classed as slim fit if I show you at the, at the back. They are quite, quite baggy. Uh, and though I'm, I wouldn't class myself particularly big, I certainly don't have skinny legs. So I expected a bit more. So if they were genuinely slim fit, you could probably get around the problem of the, the length a bit more. Um, so in, in, in summary, they're not, they won't be for me, but I'd like other people to know that they are brilliant if you're a bit taller. If you're the same, same kind of shape of build as me, same kind of length, you, you need to be aware that they are a bit long. So the search continues. Like what you've, what you've heard, give us a like, perhaps follow, follow the page, and I'll, uh, I'll probably get back with more reviews of a different pair of jeans soon.